Okay. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. There we go. Thank you. My name is Melissa. I'm the executive director for Gamut Theater. Uh, many of you uh, know me, and I know many of you, so I will skip the formalities. <laughs> right to the announcements here. Um, as you know, if your student is in Acting One, you're probably pretty familiar with our theater school program. Uh, we here at Gamut have four levels of acting classes, and then they, uh, in addition to that, then split into age groups. So the class you're going to see today is Acting One, but it's the younger Acting One class. The older Acting One class will be performing at 8 o'clock this evening. Uh, so um, Ian, the teacher, has letters for everybody. Although uh, I should say that I think, almost, I think almost all of our students are staying in the same level here. Uh, we rarely move a student up between fall and spring semesters. Um, but um, we hope you do continue with us in the spring, and if you if you don't, we uh, thank you for being with us this fall. Um, a few things going on here at Gamut Theater. We are currently running a popcorn hat Christmas carol, which is hilarious. It's a spoof of the Charles Dickens classic. Um, Ian is in it, uh, and it is very, very funny. It's great for all ages. So um, come check that out if you haven't seen it yet. And uh, there is actually a special evening performance next Saturday at 7.30. In the evening, I think. <laughs> I was like, is it 7 or 7? 7.30. Um, so come and see that. And then after that, we are getting ready for our 22nd annual New Year's Eve party for children, where we count down to noon instead of midnight. Uh, and if you've never been at that event, it is so much fun. We have it at the Whitaker Center because it's just way too many people to have in this, in this place. And we have a, a balloon drop, and we're going to be doing the Three Little Pigs. And it is great fun for everybody. So you can check that out on our website. Um, the best way to stay in touch with what we're doing is to join our mailing list. We have regular mail, we have email, and we are also on Facebook. Uh, right now, today, we have kicked off our annual fun drive for Gamut Theater. So I know uh, through most of the rest of this year, you've heard about our capital campaign and, our, and trying to get into our new building. Um, but this is the month when we focus on our annual fund, which uh, funds all of the 21 different community programs that we do. We have different educational community outreach programs, and the annual fund drive helps us make those things happen. So if you'd like to make a donation to Gamut, there is a pink money bucket in the back. We never charge for theater school performances, but if you'd like to make a donation, uh, they go straight to our education programs here at Gamut Theater. Right now, I ask if you have any cell phones on you or anything that beeps, warbles, or dings. If you can take a moment to turn those off or put them on silent during the performance, we appreciate that. Um, I don't think we have any itty bitties in the audience today, but if there are any young ones that I don't know about, uh, if they start to cry or they get real chatty, if you can just take them out into the hallway until they calm down, and then you can bring them back in so everybody can hear the show and enjoy the show. Um, and that's all my introductory remarks. Now I will. <laughs> Passing over to the teacher of the class, Mr. Ian Potter. Yes. Thank, you. Thank you, and welcome to the final performance of Acting One, the younger group. Thank you for coming tonight. So, I'd like to start out by saying this group is one of my favorite of all time. They are they have immense theatrical imaginations for being so young. It's really, really incredible. We have so much fun putting plays together each semester. Um, this semester, actually, we did a really, really fun thing. The first, first half of our semester is completely instructional. So what we did, we played a bunch of, bunch of different kinds of theater games. We played Ninja, and Zip Zap Zop, and Bop, and Magic Rocks, and you name it, we pretty much played it. And we learned our theater lessons through playing games. Because when it comes down to it, and this is the thing that we constantly need to be reminded as professional actors is we do a lot of plays here. We are meant to play. It's supposed to be fun. So we had a lot of fun this semester. And then we began putting together our show, which you will see today. We're doing a lot of really neat stuff with sound and with motion. And I think you're really, really going to enjoy it. Like Melissa said, um, nobody's going up to the next level yet. I uh, usually like to do that at the end of the fall semester. So if your kids are interested at all in coming back, please encourage them, because I love working with this, this group especially. And we're going to do some really cool things next semester. I'm hoping that we might write our own little play all together, which would be really neat. So yes, encourage them to come back. 
and I will give them some letters at the end. But in the meantime, we'll get to why you all are here today it's to see Acting One show. So without further ado, I present this awesome and amazing Acting One class, and they will be presenting for you Where the Wild Things Are. The name of our play is Where the Wild Things Are. It is based on the story by Marie Sendak. We had to change just a few things that are not in Mr. Sendak's book. In our play, Where the Wild Things Are, we start out where the wild things are not. In a normal house. In a normal town. On a normal night. But not a school night. No, <laughs> definitely not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh! 
librarian called him the most wild thing of all. It made him king of all the wild things. You must be our king of wild things. Let the wild rumpus begin. Yeah. 